This must be the last piece of Herodiana's ensemble. It is remarkable. No wonder Sophronia wanted to see this. Well, did you find the- Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? You were right about how spectacular it is, which is why it's a pity you didn't find it yourself. You double-crossing cur! I can't believe I told you about the Hall of Herodiana! Oh, I should have waited and done it myself! It would have only been two more years! You don't deserve to possess such an invaluable and historic outfit! Alohomora. Revelia. Alohomora. Perhaps you can help me. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Why would I want to decipher an old map? For the sheer knowledge of it! Hogwarts fascinates me. Plus, you can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. 
Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Once a coward, always a coward. Just ask Duncan Hobhouse. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. A skeleton. I'm on the right track. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Alohomora. Try working with a wand that's been passed down from three sisters. Alohomora. Alohomora. Revelio.
Ravenia. Alohomora. This stairwell looks promising. I've been sending out Lumos. my mother's pleading with her to send my favorite light shirt. Woolly jumpers are a nightmare for getting in the trunk. But if you put your shoes in there as well. I can't argue with that. You suck. I'm not on this. As long as I get some sleep, I don't mind. The dormitory should be a place where rules don't apply. I don't mind living in dormitories. No parents around nagging me to pick up my robes. I haven't slept in days. Martin snores like a mountain troll. I'm not entirely in agreement with what you're saying, but I do see your point. Ravenia. This looks like the portrait from the map. Now, where's the treasure? Aha! There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Keys are back. Aren't they brilliant?
Family's owl is getting too old. Half of the letters end up in the local pond. Wish someone would send me a love letter. Doubt that'll ever happen. Owls must be incredibly intelligent to deliver all those letters. I still get lost looking for our common room. I hope to have an owl of my own one day. It's been ages since I've sent an owl back home. My father will be worrying. Hmm. Perhaps next week. How do owls know where to deliver their letters? I can't imagine receiving a howler, especially in front of the whole school during a feast. How many letters do you think come in and out of Hogwarts every day? Madame Kagawa is certainly strict. I thought flying was supposed to be fun. They call it chemistry. Yes, I'm aware. Muggles have a lot of different words for things. It might as well be French. I wonder how similar it is to potions. I'm sure it's nothing like it in the least, with the exception that it can go horribly wrong. Oh! You've had a potion go horribly wrong, have you? What? No! No! Of course not! I see. Only you said... So I thought you might have. Well, they do go wrong, though, don't they? Sometimes. I'm not saying it was my fault that I forgot the spine of lionfish. Just that I was focused more on the Belladonna. Oh, and what happened? Oh, I mean, nothing serious. I'd forgotten that Belladonna was the one that was also called Deadly Nightshade. It appears I had the entirely wrong recipe, and I ended up hallucinating. Hallucinating? Nothing drastic. I was suddenly at Durmstrang and started to tell off the teachers for using dark magic. Then a Bulgarian boy set a cockatrice on me. Vicious beak they've got, those things. And you consider this nothing drastic? Ah, well, I can see why you'd say that. But the thing is, it was only a hallucination. I see. So you didn't get hurt at all? Oh, no. I had scrapes all over me from fighting the cockatrice in my mind. Come to think of it, I'd imagine muggle chemistry is a lot safer. The only reason I'd want to play Quidditch is to wear those uniforms. So fashionable. I don't like flying on a broom. I prefer the safety of a Thestral-drawn carriage. Nothing wrong with that. I used to enjoy flying, but there are so many rules now. I want to play Quidditch professionally when I'm older. I'd make a marvelous chaser. Can't wait till I'm old enough to apparate. No more falling off brooms for me. What have you learned? Hello, Arthur. I thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. There was a rumor that if you let your barrels in the middle of a Christmas carol, you get a present. The Dedalian keys are back. 
Aren't they brilliant? Hello, Nelly. You seem excited about something. The Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumour is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you'll be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Once a coward, always a coward. Just ask Duncan Hobhouse. If only Black had the power. might lead me. Rebellion. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. May I ask what attracted you to astronomy? You may. Might I assume from your inquiry that you wonder how anyone may have an interest in astronomy? Apologies, Professor. I suppose I do wonder about its relevance to us. 
I fear such a perspective is far too common among those who do not fully understand all that can be gleaned from the stars. Misperceptions frequently arise due to the confusion of astronomy with astrology, the ridiculousness of which I shall not deign to discuss. To answer your question, it was my dear sister who first sparked my interest in stargazing. The two of us spent countless nights on our rooftop staring at the cosmos. It was one of the only subjects we could study together. I'm not sure I follow, Professor. Why was that? My sister is a squib. Clever, hardworking, and generous, but a squib nonetheless. The only non-magical child born to our family in generations, poor thing. Although she manages exceptionally well. Your poor sister. What an unfortunate situation for your family. Hmm, yes. However, to her credit, while she was once disappointed not to attend Hogwarts, she has excelled in Muggle school. One of the first women, we suspect, to have attended Cambridge, well disguised at the time by our mother as a gentleman scholar. And as astronomy is one subject shared between the Muggle world and ours, she and I have been able to maintain that common interest. We still sneak up to a rooftop now and then to gaze upwards, courtesy of a levitation charm rather than a trellis nowadays. Thank you for telling me about your sister, Professor. I was glad to. It is good to be reminded of all that one can accomplish when one embraces who one is. Now off you go. I am sure you've a star chart to review somewhere. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Nelly knows what it means. Able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant! What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like a Gryffindor house token. I better unlocks our house chest. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in our common room and heard there are also in the other common rooms. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Gryffindor house chest. Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work again? When you spot or hear a flying key, you're to follow it back to its cabinet. Inserting it in the lock is the tricky part. I hope you follow some. 
If you open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Must we go back to practicing our scales? to have a poltergeist in a school. This must be my house chest. I just need to insert the token. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. Alohomora. Alohomora.
Excellent. Alohomora. Alohomora. Rebellion. Rebellion. Alohomora.
Ravenia. 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 Alohomora.
Rebellion. Revenia.
Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. Incendio! 